Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this exercise. So we used adaptive family and mass, and also we used um, intersects, uh, intersects list and used these, used these uh, reference plans to cut to the vertical grid. So today we are going to try a different approach. Okay, so let's do it. So first I want to delete all these reference plans so you will see this will also delete all the panels because there's no longer vertical grid <laughs> so so um now let's just click on v grid so this will create new vertical grid but because the shape of the uh, the mass these uh, grids are not uh, straight and then all these panels become curved so uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to try to make this pa these panels straight with the same uh, mass. Okay, so let's do it. So first, select this um, panel, one of the panel. Use tab to select one of the panel and edit family. So now, so this is a very simple uh, adaptive family. So you'll see one, two, three, four, five, five points. Create a two spline, one straight, one curved and then use these two uh, spline to create a form, a, a solid form. So today we are going to do is we're trying to, so we're trying to create extra two points from point two and point four and place them into a plan created by point one, three and five. Okay. So let's do it so first i'm going to tab select this solid and delete it and also i want to see first i want to um find a word plan perpendicular to this reference line so currently there's none okay so let's just select this curved spline delete it and once i delete that one so you will see now we have a were plan here perpendicular to this reference line. So this can be used to uh, when we dimension, we try to dimension these points to create some reporting parameter. So now set word plan, pick the horizontal word plan of this point, oh sorry, this reference line, dimension di, and pick point two and this um, word plan. Okay, so let me just change the scale so we can see the numbers. Okay, so once we created this dimension, so here, drag this point, move witness line, drag it onto the point one. So now this dimension is the distance between point one and two along uh, the direction of this reference line. So now we can create a reporting parameter. So let's call it RP2X. So Okay, so, and um, we need another one, so it's point 0.4. Okay, so let's do another one. So set work plan, make sure it's still on this horizontal work plan of this reference line, di dimension, pick this point 0.4 and pick this reference line. And then drag this point back onto the point. So now we can select this dimension and create another uh, let's call it a reporting point, reporting 4x because that's for the point 4. Okay, so now we have 2x um, uh, direction, uh, sorry, uh, 2 dimension between the points along this uh, reference line. Um, the next step is we need to um, we need to find a, another reporting parameter, another dimension from the point to the reference line. From the point to the reference line. So, but before that, we need to create some point, place some points, okay? So use draw on face. So place it on face. I'll just place two, okay? One here, one here, and select this point. So you will see this is point is measured from this so see on this side so measured from this point and then we can just change here to segment length and link this to rp2x 
So now this point will go just under this point. And the same, select this point, change this to segment length, and link this to RP4X. So it will go under this point 4. So now if we select these two points and create a spline, make it reference line, and select these two points, create a spline, make it reference line. Now we can, uh, actually what this gives us is this work plan. So see this work plan perpendicular to this reference line. So we can use this to dimension, dimension from this point to this point. Okay, so now let's do it. DI, oh sorry, before that, set word plan and pick the uh, word plan of this reference line. DI and pick this point, pick this word plan. So now we have the dimension from, from this point to this point. And then um, we still need to drag this point with this uh, line to the point okay so make sure it's a dimension from adaptive point to adaptive point so now this we can call it uh we can create a new parameter reporting parameter so this will be let's call it a y um, reporting rp2y and the reporting so the same so set work plan and set work plan of this um, reference line di Let's just pick the point one again, pick this uh, perpendicular work plan. Okay, so, and then drag this point back onto uh, uh, the adaptive point. So now we can call this one, so reporting for Y. And the instance and the reporting, and okay. So now we have the, um, the y the the x and the y so uh, we already used the x so we just need to create another point so roughly so if you look at point one three and five so let me just select these three okay so like these three points and create a spline so now you will see this arc and and this reference line so it will create a a face. So you will see this this is the face. We just need to place another point somewhere here, somewhere here, and another point somewhere I think somewhere here, uh, which you know um, the same distance from with, with you using the same distance from this reference line. So we, we're going to assign this one to it and also in this plan okay so in this plan so let's um okay we can do it this way so reference circle draw on word plan set word plan and pick the word plan of the, this point and just to create a circle here and then create a radius okay so this radius so we need to create we can't directly link so you'll see um, there's, there's no way to directly link, link it to the RP2Y, so which means we need to uh, call it, create a new parameter, I'll call it R2, okay? So instance and OK. So go to family ty types, so R2, RP2Y. So we just need linked. Oh, hang on, what's, what's this one going on? So this one needs reporting. Uh, let me just fix it. So RP2, RP2X need to be reporting parameter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. So, so this is it. So this circle will change size. So you will see if I move this point. So this circle will automatically adjust, right? So let's do another one here. So reference circle draw on word plan set word plan pick this point and create another circle create a radius let's create a r4 instance okay and go to family types r4 equals rp4y and 
Okay, so now you will say it will automatically go through this point. And then we need to place another point, right? So point, so what we need to do is we need to place a point here on, on this circle, use draw on face, okay? And also another point here on this circle, use draw on face. And then select this point and use the host point bar intersection and pick this arc, pick this arc. So now you will see it will automatically go to go here, right? And same, select this point, host point by intersection, pick this and it will automatically go here. So now we have this point with the same uh, distance from this reference line and also in this plane. So in the same plane uh, uh, as uh, point one, three, and five. So now we can select point one. So this point, three, and this point, and five to create another spline. So this spline will go through all the point, all the points, one, two, three, four, five, but it will always in one plane, okay? So now we can create so select this uh, spline and together with this one, we can create a, a form. So I'm going to give it 50 and this is the panel. So now if we load this into here and you will see that um, all these panels will become uh, flat, okay? Okay, so it looks like some of the panels not working, but don't worry, we can always adjust. And also when you're in the model in place mass and when you update the, the family, so sometimes it will disappear. Don't worry, just click on save and cancel, escape, and that's it. So now you will see if I look go up a little bit. So they are not, of course, they are not a vertical, perfect vertical, but they are, all the panels are flat, but just the direction of the panels, uh, actually depending on the shape of the mass, you will see some of the panels uh, towards the left. This is because the mass, so this point, if I adjust this point, so move it to the right and you will see these panels will go to the right. So basically the middle point, we use, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So because we use the point three as a direction of this panel. So point one, three and five. So determine the direction of the, the, the panel and point, uh, point two and four control the shape and of course all these points uh, control the shape but the mainly the direction is controlled by point three together with one and five so um let me try to adjust this a little bit so um so this panel can be created so this might take uh yeah so some of the panel so maybe we can just um, we can just move those these points out a little bit. I'll just use shift and uh, arrow key. Okay, so once I move out them out a little bit, you will see. Yeah, all good now. So all these pa panels are now perfectly flat. So although the direction and the 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 what do we call it vertical it's they are not quite vertical un unless you try to adjust adjust the point to match this so for example if you move this to a, a, along with this point so this point will or these panels will go vertical but this is it um a different approach uh so perfect flat panels and 
you can let me just try just do a little bit more so yeah some issue here and then probably just need to move those points out a little bit and then um, okay great so and also um, once you the so for example sometimes you you can't get make it perfect and only some of the panels so for example this one is not perfect but uh, all the rest is okay you can what you can do is you can remove repeater so once you are happy with most of the panels so you can just remove repeater and then you can select individual panels so for example i just want to adjust this one for, uh, just this one so you can let me just type hi so isolate this panel and then once you select this panel you will see where those adaptive points are so see and you can just move your cursor onto it so first unselect it and move your cursor and then move your cursor onto the adaptive point until the the, the rest of the families are unselected so see and then you can click on this point and then go up here so count it says no pattern it says no pattern you can't move it but you can just change it to not associate once you can, you can then you will see this and also you can use a space bar to adjust to um, change the what do we call this xyz and then you can uh, depending on which direction you want to move i think i'll just use xyz and then so you can try to adjust this point a little bit or move it out actually this will fix it yeah so good and then hr so now so this is the one we just did so okay let's try again hi move unselected move select on the point change this to not not associated and then you can adjust the panel and then that's it okay so um this is it um of course once you once you remove repeater you won't be able to um you i think you, you it still still um it will still change i believe it will still change shape if you if you adjust the massing but if you if you so you can see it, it's it will still still adjust on, on unless unless you um also you make the point on not associate and it will no longer follow the shape but all these ones they are they will still follow the mass but uh, if you create if you make this bigger and create cre create more grids and Revit will not add more that's 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 what um, uh, happen so that's what happens when you remove repeater okay but it's it's it, it's you can you can always select all of them and unselect one only leave one panel so shift select oh what happened shift select yeah and delete all the rest and then you can always click on repeat again so yeah so that's it so you'll see some of the panels not quite right so you can adjust the point or adjust them individually um that's it for today um if you have any question, please let me know. And also you can find me on Twitter if you want to send direct message or post me some image. Okay, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.